I asked, and Jack Noseworthy told. Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live at E-Bar at 59 E59 Theaters with Jack Noseworthy, who is going to be starring in 2.0 coming this October. October 3rd? To October 20th. 20th. So you have, you have a few weeks to come see him star in the show. And we're going to jump right in because there's lots to talk what about. What attracted you to 2.0? Well, I, I really, um, I liked the concept of it. Mm -hmm. I thought that um, just technically it was really interesting. Uh, my character is the name of uh, Elliot Leeds, and I play an internet software giant who dies in a plane crash after the first scene in the play. Mm -hmm. And then he, he re-emerges through software as um, a post-human or a trans-human. He's basically replicated himself in software that he's created, so he re-establishes a relationship with his wife and his business partner. And, and the play tells the story about what the repercussions of something like that are. Mm -hmm. Am I alive? Am I not alive? Is it, am I real? Am I not real? And all these mm -hmm. questions are asked. And um, I, I just think it's an interesting concept, and I think the story itself is really fascinating. I read in reading the press release, I mean, it sounded very interesting, the whole issue of holograms and that kind of stuff. And I remember watching a TV program that someone did a hologram of themselves like that, and you, couldn't, you almost couldn't tell the difference as to the lifelike and to the electronically created one. And it's interesting, I mean, if that's the way the world is going, think of, I mean, it could create so much sort of, not hope, but you almost might never have to say goodbye to someone. That's, that's one of the things that we raise in the play, actually, one of the questions we raise. And then, and then what that means, you know, what exactly that means for the living and what that means for technology. And, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's a really interesting question. And, and what do you identify most with about Elliot? Um, I think that his um, excitement over what he does for work, you know, that, that definitely was a plus and that... that he has a big personality, and, and, and he has this ability to get people excited about what he's doing. So that was really easy for me. Um, that, was, that felt like something that I could definitely relate to. You know, he's, um, he's really friendly. You know, people like him. And then um, the, the, the difficult part for me is the technology part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a techie. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that part has been a bit of a challenge. Fortunately, we have a couple of techies in our show, and, and they very patiently explain to me what I'm talking about. Uh, and so maybe by the end of the show, I'll have a little more technological knowledge, but <laughs> it's, uh, it, it remains to be seen. Right. First time at 59 E59 theaters. Right now. It's the first time I've walked in here. What excites you about performing a show in this theater? What was my first question? Was this built as an actual theater, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, and it was. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's fantastic that it's not a uh, you know, a former storefront that was turned into a theater. You know, somebody actually, an architect designed it and thought about it and built it as a theater. Okay. So, so what have you enjoyed so far about working with the cast and the director? We have a great cast. There's only five of us in the cast. And, um, and um, everyone's, uh, it's all uh, actors that have been working for a long time. So we're definitely people have come in prepared and, and, and in working mode. And, and um, so that part's always nice. It's mm -hmm. nice to have a small cast because yeah. you really just, you're just relating to a few people. Mm -hmm. and, and, and everyone, I think, has the same artistic ambitions. Led by our director, Michael Unger, who um, is uh, just it's a really kind man. So everybody I mean, watching, be sure to get your tickets for 2.0 from October 3rd through October 20th at 59 E59 Theaters. And Tune in to Call Me Adam, and I'll have the details for ticket links, and come see Jack in the play, because he's going to be amazing. Right on. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks, Adam. Nice You're welcome. You, you too. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com, or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.